that's just the start, it's definitely not over for us. We've got a long way to go in this tournament, I feel, Milligan said. Goalkeeper Matt Ryan was struggling to come to terms with leaving the match empty-handed after such an impressive display but was brimming with pride from Australia's performance. Of France's 13 shots on goal, most were in vain and from distance, if there was anyone who didn't believe we could do something at the tournament, now our best evidence is the performance. We put in today, Ryan said, that was one game where we've obviously given everything we've had and now our focus is on the next game to do the exact same thing. Today was the benchmark. There are obviously areas we still could have done better. Maintaining the ball in crucial moments. I think we could have done a little bit better at that but, I mean, I'm proud of the guys and we'll learn from that. Similarly, Milligan was distraught after keeping the likes of Antoine Griezmann, Kylie and Mbappé and Paul Pogba largely at bay, restricting France's threat to what they could muster in transition and on the counter. Australia's two banks of four-man defensive walls shut down the channels for France to play their way through to goal. After finding little luck and getting in behind the Socceroos' back line, France struggled to find plan B in their attack, such was the strength of Australia's defence, it's been a while since a loss has hurt that much. I think we were in the game for large parts. I thought we executed quite well defensively and I talk about defensively throughout the team, Milligan said, I thought Mile, Yadinak and Aaron Mooy were outstanding in shutting out those lanes to the front three and it really gives Sainz, Trent Sainsbury, and I a chance to be aggressive.